What's up? I'm Sierra Lafayette. Welcome to my channel. So for this video, we are going to try a new product that's supposed to make the chasing method a whole lot easier. Recently, someone had commented on one of my videos where I was doing my sister's hair and I was doing the chasing method on her. And they were asking, is the chasing method still relevant in 2021? And I was thinking, like, why, why wouldn't it be? What the chasing method really helps you to do is hold the hair taut, help to separate the strands a little bit better so that way the heat from the flat iron is being more evenly distributed throughout the hair and then you don't have to put as much heat on it because it pretty much got it straight right through one maybe two passes and of course it's going to help to minimize heat damage because you don't have to keep running the flat iron through the same piece of hair over and over again to get it nice and straight but quick fingers was kind enough to send me their product and let's see if this is actually going to help me do the chasing method on my own hair all right here is the box and it says three in one hair styling comb dual sided sleeking combs and a rectangular parting tail with the pin tail track facing you place ring finger comb on control finger typically the middle finger number two to section the hair extend pin tail using thumb number three retract pin tail using thumb and use either dual sided comb to style hair as desired. Hairstyling for all hair types in half the time reduces frizz and heat damage, ideal for flat ironing, hot curling, curl winding, blow drying, and cutting. All right, so this is what it looks like. There is a little space here for you to put your, what they suggest, middle finger to help you like kind of control it better. And it has a little slide here so that way you can create the end of a comb so you can part your hair. All right, so I have my hair blow dried. I actually have it in a sew-in, so I'm not going to necessarily use the parting comb too much, probably other just on my leave out. But let's try this with a piece of hair. What I'm gonna do is use the wider side of the comb to just help me detangle it. And then let's see how I'm gonna use this. Maybe I will turn it because it feels more comfortable with the comb going down for when I'm ready to start the chase method. It feels very natural. It feels like a second hand to be honest. And I have my babyless flat iron here and it is on 450. Take the comb and Just use my flat iron to chase it down. It's super easy. Here's after one pass. It feels like I'm going to be able to whip through my hair because I don't have to keep stop to pick up, put down a comb. So it's just all like already in my hand, which is very convenient. Let me get through flat ironing my hair with this and then let's see how it does with my leave out. The comb itself actually serves as a heat protectant finger glove as well. All right, so we made it to the leave out, and here is how silky and flowy my hair is now with the quick fingers comb. I was able to get through this in like a little bit over five minutes, which was lightning fast for me. Okay, but well let's try it on the leave out. I'm gonna spray some of my Afro G Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructorizer. It's like heat protectant. And then I put my flat iron down to 375. All right, we're gonna comb this out. And then we're going to push the rat tail part of it. I'm going to part the hair. I'm gonna push the rat tail comb back in so it kind of stays out the way. All right, just want to show you guys the hair. Perfect. Don't need to go through it again. And let's go through this because I have to go. I'm going to push back out the rat tail part of my hair. Push it back in comb to comb it out and right at the root and chase the hair I 
All right, so I'm all done and this is the results. Of course, I'm obsessed. I will have quick fingers linked down below along with all the other tools I use in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think of this product. Is it something that you would try? And until the next video, I want to thank me for doing all this hard work.